Now, back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. And welcome back to our final segment this weekend on Inside West Virginia Politics. We're previewing the legislative session for 2020, but we got to talk about some contemporary issues this week. The top story in West Virginia, certainly this week, the discipline handed down over 30 trainees, trainers at the Department of Corrections fired over this graduation yeah. photo where they did the, the Nazi salute. Yeah, that's just... Um, uh, it's such a, a sad incident that occurred, and of course I'm not, you know, can't be happy about anybody losing their job, especially right before the holidays. But I think that uh, uh, Secretary Sandy and the governor uh, did the, the move, they made the move that they had to make. Uh, while I think it was just a, a really dumb joke that went on too long, I think uh, at its very best it shows a serious lack of judgment and uh, not the type of judgment you would uh, you would want somebody who's in charge of other people's lives in our correctional facilities, uh, not the type of judgment that, uh, that they should possess. Um, however, you know, in reading the report, I mean, I was just shocked to see some of the statements that people didn't know that this, uh, that this salute, uh, the, you know, the, the, uh, what it implied. Uh, and it, you know, remind you and your, and your viewers that um, uh, years ago, um, Right about 15 years ago, the legislature put in statute that West Virginia is supposed to have a Holocaust Education Commission, uh, whose task would be to you know, you know, educate the public, uh, the school curriculum, and, and hopefully prevent something like this from happening. So, but unfortunately, that, that commission has, has sat uh, dormant for so long that it would need to be recommissioned. In 1945, and Adolf Hitler's not that long ago, no, it's not I, ancient history. I really do think it should be recommissioned and to possibly prevent things like this. And it's, it's never the wrong time to. To, to you know, teach people about you know how horribly things can go when we, when we stop seeing each other as, as human beings. And um, and while you know, I do I appreciate the the swift condemnation from you know, everyone from the governor on down. However, I don't think we should be so. Uh, selective about our outrage and when, when things like this occur as in you know on, on March 1st last year towards the end of the session on West Virginia GOP day there was a group that was allowed to set up inside the Capitol that set up a, 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 a display um, that was uh, just, you know, it was an anti-Muslim yeah, an display. Anti display. And to me, it, it's pretty much the same thing, and that should have been swiftly condemned too, Mark. All right, well, let's talk about the upcoming legislative session and hope that we don't have another incident like that, because that really yeah. put a black eye in the legislature and the, the whole Capitol uh, yeah. last year. But what are, your hoping, what are your hopes going forward with this legislative session? And in particular, <clears throat> we're going to see this effort to repeal the business inventory tax in this state again. Uh, your concerns about that? I, I do have, I mean, while nobody likes tax, Taxes, and especially a regressive tax, uh, such as taxing an inventory. But what they're really talking about is not repealing the inventory tax. Well, if you look at the, at the well, what they're proposing, it's a repeal of a, of a large equipment tax. And unfortunately, if we were to repeal that, I think it would it would be more to the benefit of out-of-state, uh, mainly oil and gas companies, than it would be to the average West Virginian. In fact, and if we leave it up to the counties to have to make up for that 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 revenue that funds our public schools. I, I would be concerned that they, their only option would be to raise people's, their taxes on people's houses, I, I, and I can't support that. And does anybody really know what our financial situation is going into 2020? No, but I can tell you, it, I don't think, it, uh, it doesn't look good uh, when, when you base so much of, of the economy on, on, um, on the extraction industry. Uh, and, and so much of the, of the revenue is based on severance tax, which is a boom or bust. Uh, no, it's not real stable. Can, can you support this bill that would lower the cost of insulin for diabetics in the uh, state? Definitely, we, I fully support We saw support Caravan that. go to Canada. I, I, fully, mean. I think that's something, hopefully, you know, in this session when things are hyper-partisan in an election year, we can come together on bills like that that are just for the benefit of average West Virginians that don't always, uh, can't always afford having a high-powered lobbyist working for them. I support that bill. And we'll have you back and other members of the legislature throughout the session because it's going to be busy. Thank you. Happy thank New Year. Yes, Delegate Mike Pushkin, Democrat, Kanawha County. Happy New Year to you, yep. too, and uh, look forward to seeing you at the Capitol. We'll be sick of each oh, yeah. other in a couple of weeks. See you soon enough. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, remember, Inside West Virginia Politics is downloadable from your favorite podcast location. We'll see you back here next week.